All right, guys, in this video, I want to quickly go over two more directives that Vue offers. They are the Vue once and the Vue pre directives. I can probably say that both these directives are less popular in terms of usage. However, I want to ensure that you are aware of their functionality in case you come across them in a project code base in your company. Now first, we have the we once directive. This directive, as the name indicates, renders the corresponding HTML element only once. On subsequent re-renders, the element is treated as static content and skipped. Let's understand with an example. We are starting fresh with an empty template and data object. I'm going to create a new data property called name and set it to Vishwas. In the template, I'm going to bind this name property using the mustache syntax. I'm also going to add a button to change the name. So button, change name. On click, we change name is equal to Batman. If we take a look at the browser, we have the name as Vishwas and on click of the button, it changes to Batman. However, if we go back to VS Code, add the v1's directive on the h2 element and go back to the browser again, refresh and click on the button, you can see that the name does not change after it has been rendered once. This directive can be used to optimize update performance when used on a large portion of your template, which you know will never change. View will skip diffing of the virtual DOM for the elements marked with v1's directive, thereby optimizing the update performance. It's pretty rare that you might come across very slow updates, which is why this is one of the less frequently used directives in Vue. Now the second directive is the v pre directive. This directive skips compilation for the corresponding element. Let's take a look at an example. In the template, I am again going to bind the name to an h2 element. Now this of course will render Vishwas in the browser. However, what if we want the double curly braces and the string name to be rendered as they are in the browser. Well, we just have to use the v pre directive. So on the h2 tag, v hyphen pre. If we now save the file and take a look at the browser, you can see the double curly braces and the string name rendered as it is. So the v pre directive basically asks Vue not to compile the HTML element. If you have a lot of HTML that do not contain any view directives, you can use the v pre directive on the parent element, which will also speed up the compilation. So that is about the lesser used v once and v pre directives in Vue. Thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next video.